Welcome to NGCon Online Academy. In this lecture, we will be discussing the MCQs of Sunday test, test number 9. So, the first MCQ says 16 grams oxygen is contained in. So, in sub mein bari bari dekhte hai ki how much oxygen is present. So, 0.5 mole of CO2. So, agar hum CO2 ke ek mole ko dekhe, to isme do atoms oxygen ke yani 32 grams oxygen present hai. Now, if we take 0.5 moles of CO2, to is half oxygen, yani 16 grams present hogi. So this is correct. One mole of carbon monoxide, to carbon monoxide ke one mole mein ek oxygen ka atom, yani 16 grams present hai. So this is also correct. H2SO4 ke one mole mein hamare paas four oxygens, yani four into 16 grams, 64 grams oxygen hai. So 0.25 moles may 0.25 into 64 grams is equal to 16 grams oxygen hai. So tino may same amount of oxygen hai. Number of particles produced by ionization of 120 grams of NaOH. So first of all find out the moles of NaOH 120 divided by 40 grams is equal to 3 moles. Now now NaOH ki ek particle ki ionization se ek positive or ek negative ion banega. So 3 mole se total 3 into Avogadro's number of particles aayenge or har molecule se 2 particles nikalte hain to total 6 into Avogadro's number of particles will be found. So this becomes equal to 36 into 10 raised to power 23 or 3.6 into 10 raised to power 24. Limiting reagent is the one which is consumed. So limiting reagent reaction mein wo reaction hai jo earlier consume hoga aur product ki amount ko limit karega. Radius of fifth Bohr's orbit of hydrogen atom. So radius ka formula hai R is equal to n square into 0.529 angstroms. Now n is equal to 5. So 5 square is equal to 25 into 0.529 angstroms. So, B is the correct option. Total values of magnetic quantum number permissible for azimuthal quantum number 3. So, agar L is equal to 3 ho, to uske liye M ki values hongi plus 3 se leke minus 3 tak. So, total values would be equal to 2L plus 1. So, we can write 2 into 3 plus 1. So, total we have 7 values. In the given set of orbitals, one that is filled first is. So, 4F ka n plus L value nikalte hain. n is equal to 4 and L is equal to 3. So, total n plus L is equal to 7. 5D ke liye it is 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. For 6S, it is 6 plus 0 is equal to 6. For 6P, it is 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. So, jis ki n plus L value sabse choti ho, wo sabse pehle fill ho ga. So, 6S is the correct option. Electronic geometry of NH3 molecule is so NH3 molecule ki agar hum molecular geometry dekhe to iske andar hamare paas ek lone pair aur teen bond pairs aate hain so it is pyramidal in geometry now talking about electronic pairs to electron pairs ke hisab se isme four electron pairs hain jin mein se ek lone pair aur teen bond pairs hain so this lone pair suppresses the bond pairs making it a distorted tetrahedral geometry reaction intermediate is present at now suppose we have a reaction carbon plus half oxygen forms carbon monoxide in the next step carbon monoxide reacts with half oxygen to give us carbon dioxide so this product is intermediate of the reaction now here it is present in products and here it is present in reactants so it can be present on both of the sides lucas test is based on so lucas test is used to differentiate between tertiary secondary and primary alcohols tertiary react immediately secondary react in 5 to 10 minutes and primary react on heating so this test is basically based on a different rate of reactions of different types of alcohols with the reagent so it is based on rate of reaction 
which of the given organic compounds lack carbonyl carboxyl group so phthalic acid is basically dicarboxylic acid so it contains carboxyl group salicylic acid contains an OH group and a COOH group so it also has carboxyl group picric acid is basically trinitrophenol so it is phenol and if we have two four six trinitrophenol it is called picric acid so this basically leaks carbo carboxyl group x-ray line with the greatest wavelength so greatest wavelength would be of line which has least energy so among k and m lines k lines are usually more energetic followed by l followed by m so lines of m have least energy therefore their wavelength would be greatest so d is the correct option triangular molecule with sp2 hybridization is so sp2 hybridization with a triangular geometry is found in molecule which does not have any lone pair and it has ab3 configuration so talking about bf3 bf3 has ab3 configuration without any lone pair in it therefore it is triangular as well as sp2 hybridized so it is the correct option bond strength increases with increasing so bond strength is directly proportional to s character of the orbital the greater the s character the greater would be the bond strength so a is the correct option ideal gases follow so ideal gases follow kinetic molecular theory it is correct ideal gas laws they also follow these laws general gas equation it is also correct so all of these are followed by ideal gases if pressure of a gas is doubled and temperature is decreased by two times what happens to the volume so if pressure is doubled so the volume decreases by two times because they are inverse to each other and if temperature is halved then volume is again halved so overall what happens to volume it becomes half due to doubling pressure and it also becomes half due to decreasing the temperature so overall volume becomes one fourth deviation from ideal behavior can be judged by deviation from so deviation from ideal behavior can be judged from deviation of compressibility factor one this is compressibility factor for ideal gas now when a gas deviates from ideal behavior its value changes from one to some other value so this is the correct option which substance does not have permanent poles pulling opposite poles of another similar molecule it means ki which molecule is not a polar molecule so hcl is a polar molecule ph3 also has lone pair so it is a polar molecule i2 contains two same atoms bonded to each other so this is a non polar molecule among the given forces which is non directional hydrogen bond so sometimes hydrogen bond between the two atoms can be converted into coordinate covalent bond so it is a directional force covalent bond is formed by overlap of orbitals so overlap of orbitals is always directional so it is also a directional force dipole dipole force is simply attraction between positive and negative ends and it can occur from any side therefore it is a non directional force unit cell of tio2 is so this has been taken from textbook table which says that it is tetragonal or rutile in shape atomic solid that conducts electricity in solid state now atomic solid means covalent solid so among all the covalent solids graphite is the solid that conducts electricity in solid state so b is the correct option if silver electrode in silver nitrate solution is connected with she then now if we look at the reduction potential so silver is below hydrogen so when 
hydrogen electrode is connected with silver electrode hydrogen has greater oxidation potential so hydrogen will act as anode and silver will act as cathode so b is the correct option silver acts as cathode and hydrogen acts as anode for the reversible reaction 2N2O5 forms 2N2O4 plus O2 one mole of N2O5 is taken and at equilibrium the concentration of O2 is found to be 0.25 moles the Kc for the reaction is now let's take the equation 2N2O5 gives us 2N2O4 plus O2 initially we have taken one mole of this and zero moles of both of them now at equilibrium we have x moles of this 2x moles of this and 1 minus 2x moles of this now the concentration of O2 is 0.25 which means that x is equal to 0.25 so 2x is equal to 0.5 and 1 minus 2x yani 1 minus 0.5 is equal to 0.5 so now from these equilibrium concentrations we can find the Kc so Kc expression for this reaction is products N2O4 square into O2 divided by reactants N2O5 square so concentration of N2O4 is 0 0.5 so we can write 0 0.5 square into O2 concentration is 0 0.25 divided by N2O5 is 0 0.5 and we take square so these two cancel out so 0 0.25 is the Kc of this reaction Kc for the reaction NNO3 solid gets converted into NNO2 liquid and O2 gas. So in heterogeneous equilibrium we omit liquid and solids and we only write gases in the Kc. So the Kc would be equal to O2. So C is the correct option. For the reversible reaction PCl5 gives off PCl3 plus Cl2. The decomposition of PCl5 is favored by addition of PCl3 so if PCl3 is added according to Le Chatelier principle reaction will reverse increase in pressure so increase in pressure drives the reaction where the number of moles is lesser so again the reaction will reverse addition of catalyst does not increase or decrease the concentration of reactant or product increase in temperature this is correct because the reaction is a uh, decomposition reaction which are usually endothermic so endothermic reactions are favored in forward direction by increase in temperature true about complex reaction it is the sum of many elementary reactions this is correct because it is composed of many single steps product of each step other than the last step is intermediate this is also correct in a complex reaction like this other than the terminal step all the other products of any step are called intermediate each step has its own rate this is correct because every step proceeds by a different rate and the slowest step is called rate determining step so all of them are correct options the reaction 2 and 2 5 forms 4 no 2 plus o2 it is so it has been taken from the examples the rate equation for this reaction is r is equal to k into n2o5 raised to the power 1 so this is a first order reaction which of the following does not affect the rate of reaction particle size affects the rate of reaction temperature also affects it and catalyst also affect the rate of reaction concentration of products does not affect the rate of reaction it is the concentration of reactants that affects the rate of reaction Heber's process is an example of so in Heber's process we basically form nitrogen and hydrogen and form ammonia by using these two substances now here the catalyst is iron which is found in solid form so reactants and products are gaseous but catalyst is in another phase so this is heterogeneous catalysis All heat given to the system at constant volume is used to change. So at constant volume all the heat given to the system equals to the change in internal energy because in this case the change in volume is zero so work done would be equal to zero. So A is the correct option. 
hydrogen can show the oxidation state so hydrogen in form of h2 is 0 with non metals hydrogen is plus 1 and with metals hydrogen is minus 1 so it shows all of these oxidation states hypochlorous acid decomposes on exposure to sunlight as so hypochlorous acid is h o c l so on exposure to sunlight it decomposes into hcl and half o2 as given in the book so c is the correct option most basic oxide so if we move along the period the basicity of oxides decreases and if we move down the group the basicity increases so it means that group 1 oxides are most basic so these two are from group 1 and the lower the oxide in periodic table the more basic it is so Na2O is the correct option hydroxide of which element is most acidic so hydroxide of sulfur is H2SO4 for silicon it is H2SiO4 for phosphorus it is H3PO4 and for chlorine it is HClO4 so this is the strongest acid electronic configuration of vanadium is so 4s2 is for atomic number 20 vanadium is 23 so the next three electrons are in 3d orbital so it is 4s2 3d3 central metal atom in octahedral complexes so octahedral complex has six ligands that are bonded to central metal atom so here we need six hybridized orbital which are present in sp3 d2 hybridization so b is the correct option anthracene and phenanthrene are so anthracene and phenanthrene basically have same structures which contain three benzene rings fused with each other so the only difference is the position of these rings so due to change in only the position of the ring they are called resonance or canonical isomers which substance is likely to attack alpha carbon of alkyl halides so alpha carbon of alkyl halides is electrophilic themselves so it is attacked by a nucleophile nucleophile is either a substance which contains a lone pair or a substance which is a negatively charged substance so nh3 basically contains a lone pair so it can attack the alpha carbon of alkyl halide C6H14 has how many chain isomers? So for chain isomers, we write 2 into n minus 4 plus 1, where n is the number of carbons. So 2 raised to the power 6 minus 4 plus 1. So 2 raised to the power 2 plus 1, it equals 5 chain isomers. The IOPAC name of this compound is, so choose the longest chain. Start numbering from where the first substituent is closer. Now we have 2, 3, 4, trimethyl. And 5 carbons pentane so C is the correct option which is not an aromatic compound phenol is aromatic due to benzene ring naphthalene is also aromatic due to benzene ring benzene ring is itself aromatic so D none of them is the correct option how many bonds of 1,3 pentadiene are formed by sp2 sp2 overlap so let's draw 1,3 pentadiene so this is the compound so this carbon is sp2 this carbon is again sp2 this is also sp2 due to double bonding this is again sp2 and this last one is sp3 so this one two and three bonds are formed by sp2 sp2 overlap Alkynes can be prepared from vicinal dihalides by so this is a vicinal dihalide so we have to remove hx from above and below to form alkynes so they are formed by dehydrohalogenation so b is the correct option cyclohalogenonium ion is intermediate of so this is the cyclohalogenonium ion formed when an alkene or alkyne is attacked by halogen molecule so this is formed in two reactions first in halogenation of alkenes and secondly in 
halo hydration of alkenes because in halo hydration the first attacking molecule is also x2 so halogenation and halo hydration both b and c are the correct options most stable compound of the given benzene 135 cyclohexatriene cyclohexane and cyclohexene so cyclohexene is double bonded molecule it is less stable than cyclohexane so cut it 135 cyclohexatriene has three double bonds so it is also less stable now choosing between benzene and cyclohexane basically we add hydrogen to benzene in order to form cyclohexane now in the process the energy is released it means that when benzene adds hydrogen it loses its energy to form cyclohexane so cyclohexane has less energy than benzene so it is more stable compound meta directing group of the following is so o c double bond o r it contains lone pair on the atom directly attached to benzene ring and this lone pair is also delocalized on this oxygen so it is moderate activating group r is also activating nitrogen contains lone pair so it is also a strong activating group a positively charged groups are deactivating because they withdraw electrons from benzene substitution and elimination reactions are shown by so substitution and elimination are shown by alkyl halides as well as alcohols also undergo such reactions so both of them are the correct options r is equal to k into base into substrate is the rate equation for so this is the rate equation for a bimolecular reaction now base is involved in elimination reaction so this is the rate equation for e2 reaction the smallest trihydric alcohol is named as so this is the smallest trihydric alcohol and it is called glycerol so c is the correct option anidine is converted into diazonium salt by so this is anidine now we pass it through na no2 and hcl and this anidine gets converted into diazonium salt so c is the correct option clemenson's reduction uses the catalyst so these two are the catalyst for wolf kishner's reduction and these three are the catalysts for clemenson's so b is the correct option oxidation of ketones by kmno4 requires so ketones are only oxidized when they have hydrogen available at any of the alpha carbons so presence of alpha hydrogen is required isobutyric acid has the common name so this is isobutyric acid so it is also called alpha methyl propanoic acid so a is the correct option which of the following given carboxylic acid does not undergo alcoholysis alcoholysis is performed by alcohol so this or as a nucleophile replaces some other nucleophile but in amides the nh2 group is a stronger nucleophile so it cannot be replaced by or directly so amides do not undergo alcoholysis dash are building blocks of proteins so amino acids are the basic building blocks of proteins thank you